Um, so post engagement, okay. Post engagement are the actually the types of ads you see on the front of the Facebook page where it says boost this post. Um, and what it's doing is it's looking for people to, as it says, engage with the ad, but you should take a look at exactly what Facebook defines as engagement. So Facebook defines it as if they click to view the photo, you know, if they like it or if they comment with it and interact with your ad. So think about that. If you have a post that is an image with some text and you have the post engagement uh, objective here, you may be surprised to see, for example, 100 engagements that you've paid for, but you say, see maybe 10 likes on the, on the post. It still means they engage. It just means that 10 people liked it and probably, you know, uh, 70 people looked at, like clicked to look at the picture and then others just maybe interacted with it in other ways. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily translate to likes and comments directly, although you are more likely to get likes and comments with this type of objective. And a tip for you is, and a mistake that people make and fall into is they will use a video ad uh, for post engagement. The reason I don't do that is because Facebook defines an engagement as a certain amount of the pixels of a video being um, shown on their screen. So when you're when they're scrolling through their feed and a video goes by and it starts to play, it actually counts it as an engagement. To me in the real world, having a video fly by you is not an engagement. So I'm not willing to pay for that. I don't think that's a great use of my money. I'd rather put that video in a video view ad where I'm putting it in front of people who are more likely to actually view it. So as a general rule, I would stay away from having videos inside of your post engagement ads. There is a page like campaign and you can also start this from the front of your page. And what you wanna do, what this is doing is exactly what it says. It's actually gonna look for people to like your page and they'll have that button like page. Is this a waste of your money? Well, I don't think so, not all the time. Um, I don't run fa Facebook uh, like ads all the time. I think that Facebook likes have become a bit of a vanity metric. However, uh, one little tip for you is that a lot of times Facebook like ads get approved very quickly. So sometimes what I do is, especially if I want to build up my um, reputation with Facebook a little bit and on a new account when I'm warming it up, uh, I will run some Facebook like ads and just keep it going um, at a very low budget. You can do like $2 a day or $5 a day for a week or even a couple of days. And this helps to warm up your account a little bit. It helps to let Facebook know, hey, you know what? Um, we're running an ad and we're keeping people on the platform, which is what Facebook likes. Uh, so it's actually a good thing to do. I do not uh, think that you should run these to uh, just the world or kind of like overseas where you think that you're just going to get a lot of likes and they're not in your target market. I would still target your target market with these Facebook like ads. It's just another tool for you to use. Um, event responses. So you can create an event on your Facebook page and what you can do is you can actually take that event and put it in an ad and Facebook will look for people who are likely to respond to that event. So you can do that. Um, a message ad. So a message ad will allow you to create a Facebook ad that goes right into people's uh, message box, which is actually really nice. And then from there, you can connect it to your uh, Facebook uh, Messenger chat software. So store traffic and catalog sales, uh, those are mainly, mainly for uh, like e-commerce. And again, as it says here, it's going to send, it, it's, it's going to, um, if you have different uh, local business page set up, um, this is where it would match up with, with that for you to actually try and get traffic to your brick and mortar store. Let me go here, not catalog. And let me go to conversions, which is the one that we walked through. So conversions is the one that we set up and that's actually one of the most common ones that I'll do. I, for my bread and butter, it is traffic conversions 
post engagement, and sometimes brand awareness. Those are the main ones that I use. And as I said, I'll layer in like ads occasionally. Um, but I love do using this whole, uh, those main ones in a wide variety of ways. It just depends on your strategy. But in the example I showed you, which was to get webinar registrations, I used a conversion ad. Um, if Even if I'm retargeting to say purchasing a product, then I will use a conversion ad and I'll put the conversion as purchase. So um, that is tends to be one of the most common ads used. So you just have to kind of go through, choose the one that you think is best and try it out. And of course you can always test. But as I said, I would stick with mainly traffic, video views, post engagement, and in conversions. Um, and as I said, lead generation, you can use that as well. But um, in the beginning, you may want, you may not be ready to try it out. I would try those other ones first, and then also do a test with uh, the lead generation ones, because you have to do a little bit more of setting up with the forms and connecting it to your email marketing software, um, which can take a little bit of time. And we want to help you get up and running as quickly as possible. So I hope you found this part helpful.